how to develop a dedicated circuit for a specific action, as I mentioned, going to the gym, speaking a language, studying for exams, where there are two main steps. The first one is to start small. Instead of saying, I'm going to go to the gym every day for two hours, when you still don't have this circuit in your brain, so you're still not an athlete that goes to the gym every day for two hours, but maybe you're just a beginner. When the task is too big and too complicated, it's more difficult for the brain to even start doing it. So that is why you want to start small. You want to start by, for example, walking for 15 minutes or running for 20 minutes because this is probably more easy to start with because this action is not too difficult to start with and you probably already have brain circuits that are similar. Let's say you already have a brain circuit for walking, so walking for 15 minutes is not going to be that difficult. However, going to the gym every day for two hours is going to be difficult. Or instead of saying, I'm going to read 200 pages and prepare the exam, say, I'm going to read three pages because you're probably already a uh, able to read two, three pages because maybe you already read two, three pages of text online or newspapers. So reading three, two to three pages of your medicine book or whatever you're studying is not going to be as difficult as, for example, preparing the whole exam. So number one is to start small. Number two and the second key point is repetition. <coughs> Number two, the second key point is repetition. This brain circuit is not going to de be developed if you perform the action only once. Research has shown that it takes at least 21 days of repeatedly performing an action in order to start forming the brain circuit. Oftentimes, if the habit is very complicated, it takes even more. So what you want to do is to find the first step that is smaller, a smaller step and to repeat it over and over again until you develop this brain circuit. And you're going to know that the brain circuit is most likely developed when the task becomes easy. For example, if you walk every day for 15 minutes, after a few weeks, this is going to become easy. It's not going to be a challenge anymore. You're not going to procrastinate. And once this happens, once you feel comfortable with walking for 15 minutes, you can then increase it. You can then increase it to running for 15 minutes or maybe walking for 15 minutes and going 15 minutes to the gym. So those were the two key steps. 